You get on the ship and you find community, safety, and you can be yourself. It's so true. When you walk through those doors on the ship, you know that you are surrounded by people living and enjoying each other. There's a real community that gets built in this little city on the sea. It's gonna be hard for me to forget the feeling of that launch party. It's like you could feel it, like kind of reverberating in your chest. This has been a little bomb and prosper. What a great way to start, because it's like, well, if this is what it's gonna be, this is gonna be awesome. And the amount of, of activities that are offered, tremendous. There's so many things going on, like which one am I gonna choose from? I don't know. And that is that's a problem that we all would like to have. Which which amazing thing can I should I go to? I don't know. I loved Anthony's concert. You know, I was bawling. The science talks and, and Star Trek Squares have been the most enjoyable for me personally. Just to see my colleagues and friends up there getting to just let loose like that, there's a joy to it that I really, really appreciate it. I keep intending to go to the parties and I never get past a few steps on the promenade. I get stopped and then we say, ah, then somebody buys me a drink. It's like a big Star Trek summer camp. It's just a, a floating party. We are going out and enjoying the ocean together. We're doing karaoke and laughing. And how many raves would you find on land to go to? The rave was about celebrating life and the energy of it. Everyone's just letting loose with like their favorite people and their favorite friends. We're all here to enjoy all that the cruise has to offer. I knew that I could be as um, inappropriate as possible, <laughs> which I always enjoy. Who's ready to party? Yeah! The best party. Everyone was dancing so much fun and love. The Q costume party. You know, it's just gotten bigger and bigger each and every time. And the costumes are, I don't know if they come in steamer trunks or not, because I, I, they've got to have, a, you know, a, a, a couple of extra suitcases. Um, so that's always fun to see. It's all there, and the sheer number of actors that are here from all the different Star Treks, it's, it's very impressive. Like, why wouldn't you choose this way of interacting with uh, your favorite Star Trek actors? When you come on this cruise, there is this overwhelming sense of belonging. This is more than just a convention, and that's kind of like the beauty of this normal environment. We're all family here. These are memories that people will never forget. I'll never forget, you know, and it means a lot. And it has lived up to every hope I had. I have had a blast. <laughs> and, you know, we're just warming up for Mexico next year. Kate Mulgrew is leading all of us, and uh, we're going to be on the West Coast. How great is that? Join me and the rest of the cast for next year's 2023 Trek Cruise. See you out there. We all look forward um, to welcoming you aboard and joining us in an adventure of a lifetime. Please join us. We're looking forward to the tequila, too. Ole. And I look forward to seeing you on Star Trek The Cruise 2023. Cheers. Yummy.